Okay, hey guys, so welcome to another Cook With Me. So you guys asked for it, so we're doing it. Guacamole, baby. Guacamole. Guacamole. I love this recipe because it's- Why do you think they call it guac when it's made with avocado? <laughs> What's guac? <laughs> guac. Comment below if you know why they call it guac. I'm sure more. it's like such a simple answer. Is it from Guam? Oh. Guac. Guac. Guani guac. 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 Anyways. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get your guacamole. Yeah, so we are doing guacamole today. Super, you guys know me, super easy recipe. Oh, get your sign real quick. Oh, yes. You have to. We promised we'd have it in every cook with This, you. we have to. Our a viewer said this to us. Because she said she thought of us when Stephanie. she saw it. Stephanie. So thank you. We will have it in every cook with me because that is our goal to always make everything easy peasy, lemon, lemon squeezy. squeezy. So let's get started. Okay, so basically what you guys are going to need are avocados, garlic powder, limes, coconuts, salt, no coconuts. <laughs> You're going to confuse them. And then salsa. That's it. That's all you need. Easy. Done. Or if you want to add onion, you can add onion. We don't like onions. Nah. We don't do onion. Because we, can, we you can't put we onion actually, in it. We actually kiss. Yes. <laughs> we do? Kind of. <laughs> Sometimes. All the time, every day. Sometimes. Every minute. What do you think we do when all the kids are at school? <laughs> Cook with me. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> all right. So let's get started. Okay, so first you're gonna obviously cut your avocados. So I just cut them like this. So you basically take it apart. These are good ones too. We got these at Trader Joe's. So you just cut them in half and then scoop them out. Boom. Look at that. Boom. That's boom shot the locker right there, baby. I don't know what it is about avocados, but it gives me such enjoyment to, to just scrape them out of the thing. Wow, interesting. No, it does. Like, look, like this is so, I don't know, rewarding. Like, wow. Instant gratification. Looks like I'm going to go look pick up that. some guacam Boom. some avocados. <laughs> but look, I, it's just, I don't know. I know I'm weird, but I know people know what I'm saying. Whatever. I'll go Did get you, you some know, avocados. Maybe you guys don't know this. Maybe you do. If you put the seed of the avocado in your guacamole, it makes it so it doesn't turn brown as quick. As quick. As quick. <laughs> Add that. No, but it does because you know that you guys know guacamole turns brown really fast. But if you put the seed in it, it doesn't. This bad boy. Not right nearly. Here. Yep. So when we're done, and this is in the fridge, we'll keep the seed in there so that it doesn't go. I know. I'm a professional. I know all the secrets. That's right. <laughs> Not really. But das right. D-A-S-R-I-G-H-T. Hashtag das right. That's right, baby. So I'm only doing three avocados. I usually do more, but Brayden's been eating these like candy, which is awesome. I can't complain about that. I usually make it like for big groups of people. So I usually make more. So we're going to kind of guesstimate on the other stuff. Oh, shoot. I know you guys are shocked. <laughs> we're going to guesstimate the measurements, but... Oh, did you see that? Boom, 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 boom. You just tapped it against the bowl and not the trash can. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. Wow. I'm learning, see? Dang. See, I'm learning. I don't need, I don't need the hate. <laughs> I actually didn't get any hate for that. Everyone was laughing. Okay. So there's the avocados. Are you serious? Avocados. Did you just tap it against the bowl and you're going to reuse it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I have another secret. I use my handy dandy mix and chop. No, meat masher. No, oh. It's the meat we made masher. We our own names, so meat masher, but this, in this case, avocado masher. We're gonna come out with our own line of kitchen uh, utensils and this is gonna be called the meat masher. Point it in, boy. Boom. Okay, so you just kind of mash it up. Look at that. I feel like we could have got more. Yeah, who are you making this for? You? No, that's what you're doing. Yep, this is just for me, baby. Jeez. Yeah, right. I'll be lucky if I get one bite. So anyways, you just kind of mash that up to the consistency that you want. That looks good to me. Can you make sure you don't break the plate? <laughs> no. This is where, remember, this is where I get my aggression out. Oh, yeah. Okay. So oh, yeah, then, that's my face, oh, no. everyone. That's my face. That's Danny's face. Just like Creams. the corn, just like the cornflakes. He's totally got cream. What was it? Just like the cornflakes and the pretzels. I don't know. Probably anything I mash is your face. Serious. <laughs> okay, so we got this from a viewer. This is my first time using it, so. Suzanne Baker. Hopefully I do it right. If Thank not, you. just pretend like I am, okay? No, you don't do that. You do it that way? How do I? Oh, yeah, you do. That's right. 
Okay, so we're gonna squeeze her in. This is a lemon squeezer, but obviously, ooh, oh, is that a nut? Seriously, you want that much? Yes. Holy moly! That is amazing. How easy that is with this little squeezer. You said squeeze her in too. Every oh, time it's like you refer to it as a as a her. I already yeah. told you because girls rock. Girls are the bomb. .com. There she go. She squeezed her in. Squeezing her in more. You really there want that much? Yeah. Nope, babe. I'm just doing it for fun. <laughs> you know, because I like to. Oh, so man. That I looks usually, like some watery guac. Well, it's not mixed together. Calm down. Whoo, that smells good. Oh, I know. Okay, so where's that spoon? I don't know about how it looks. <laughs> oh, thanks. Wow. Danny's not going to be allowed to do my cook with me's with me anymore. Oh. Where's the faith, baby? Okay. Now, how watery does that look? That looks good, actually. Okay, so zip it, boy. <laughs> zip it. <laughs> Someone's that's acting all tough that's on that's camera. Right. That's right. That's right. Okay, and then you're gonna take about. That's right. I usually. That's should... right. Okay. Wow. Get him out of my kitchen. <laughs> oh shoot. Well, I need really a little open... help with that. Look at this. Maybe you should open it. <laughs> Well, I tried, and it's so hard to get off, so I just stabbed it with Can a someone knife. send her something to open this thing oh, with? Stop. I got a knife. We're good. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. We're going to just tear this off. Get my hands all dirty. I need to wear my apron so I can... Okay. Yeah, where's your apron? Come on. I know. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do about a half a cup of salsa. So, half a cup of salsa. Boom, boom, boom. Put that in. It's going to... Just color it a little bit. Don't get scared. It's not turning brown. You don't need to put the seed in yet. And then we're gonna just do um, some garlic powder, kind of to taste. To so taste. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Tastes good. Oh, it smells good. Yeah. So this. Boom. Boom. Bam. Shakalaka. Boom shakalaka in your paka. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just trying to rhyme over here. So this makes it delicious. What is that? Oh, salsa. Okay. And then you can sprinkle a little salt in there. Boom, boom, boom. And let me just. Wow. Ooh, look at that. So, you guys, that's literally it. Done. Wow. Like, done, done, and done. Like, how easy is that recipe? That was, that was literally almost. That took us maybe five minutes. Dang, that maybe was five easy. Minutes. Yeah, so easy. So it's done. It's ready to go. All right, we're going to put you, it with some chips. Yeah, if you want to put, I mean, obviously dress it up however you want. Like I said, some people put onions in it, but this is actually really just good, just like this. Okay, so we're going to try it. You guys, in the comments below, I want you guys to tell us what you guys do with your guac. How do you make your homemade guac? What's this missing? I think it's missing nothing because it's actually yummy, but I know... Everybody does like different variations of this. So this is just our quick go-to. And we're doing it with the, or we're gonna, um, mm -hmm, chips, you know. <laughs> oh, I can't talk. The white. Tortilla chips. Organic Trader Joe's tortilla, tortilla chips. chips. So I'm gonna say though, with this guac, I love the lime chips. You know, like the. Um, Tostitos. To Tostitos. Lime Tostitos. Chips. Tostitos. Do we have some? No. Oh. The lime ones, no. But the lime ones are super yummy with this. So let's go ahead and try this out. Oh, so good. Oh, man. Mm 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 mm. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say that again. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. Oh, you guys, go try this. Try it. Make you guys your own. You probably have this in your kitchen right now. Go yeah. try it. And tell me what you think. Danny, get over here. You're yeah, and then also, if go if you make it and you like it, comment, oh, let us know, and hashtag, it's good. That's good. Okay, Danny's going to give All it right, a try. Here we go. And I'm not a huge avocado fan. Like, no. Alone. Mm -mm. I used to, but it started making me feel weird after a while, so let's see. Wow. It's good, right? Yeah. That's awesome. Like, it's so good. Like, it's hard to believe that it's that I, quick and easy. And I'm not big on lime. Mm -mm. This has just enough. So I did just one enough. lime. So I did three avocados, one lime, and a half a cup of salsa, and some sprinkles of um, garlic, powder. garlic powder. Any more lime, I wouldn't like it. Okay. This is like 
perfect. So do lime to taste, guys. If yeah. you like a lot of lime, put the lime in there. You probably want more, but I like this. Yeah, I think that's actually perfect. And then if you pair it with the lime chips, oh, so good. Awesome. Awesome. What is it? Out of 10. Out of 10, baby. 10. Ooh, bam. Winner, winner. Or as Ethan would say, it's a negative 10. <laughs> if 10 was the worst, it would be a negative 10. <laughs> That would be Ethan. So, okay guys, so that's it for the guacamole. Hope you guys like the recipe. Try it out, let us know. Um, also, you guys stay tuned for, um, I don't know, not really a challenge. What challenge taste test. Challenge taste test video. We're gonna have coming up, it is, um, we are trying, we got sent to us a bunch of Australian like snacks and stuff. Like literally like 20 different things. Like 20 different things. So we want to film us trying them all out because it's literally all stuff we've never heard of before. So we're excited to try those out. And then we also got some food from Finland that we're going to try out as well. So you guys stay tuned for all those videos. I don't know when they're coming out. They're going to come up soon. We're probably going to do both of them in one. We'll do the okay. unboxing of them and then the testing of them with the family. Yes, so stay tuned for that. Go follow us on Instagram so you know when that is coming up, and then I'm pretty sure we'll have a live coming up here. Probably soon. tomorrow. Probably tomorrow, so. And if you haven't already seen the Trader Joe's grocery haul that was up yesterday, yes. go check it out. Go check out the Trader Joe's grocery haul. You have a chance to win a $25 Visa gift card. We're doing a giveaway. So go check out that out to find out how you enter for that giveaway. All right, you guys, and also we are still doing the chicken enchilada gluten-free casserole. So stay tuned for that. We just have to go pick up the ingredients. We have to go to Whole Foods and get like the specialized like gluten-free stuff. So hats off to you people who are gluten-free because it's not always easy to find stuff. So anyways, we are gonna head there. We'll get the ingredients and that will be one of our cook with me's coming up. So stay tuned for that too. Thank mm -hmm. you.